Hello, my name is Megan Lang, and I am a service learning instructor at Los Angeles Harbor College, along with Ms. Lori Miner. The following presentation is meant to serve as a general overview and brief introduction to service learning and to how the course is conducted at LAHC. A few facts to start with. Service learning is a one unit, credit no credit course, which is meant to be taken concurrently with any other course. The unit is transferable and sections are offered face-to-face -face as well as online. The formal definition of service learning is a quote, form of experiential education in which students engage in activities that address human and community needs together with structured opportunities for reflection designed to achieve desired learning outcomes end quote, as defined by Dr. Barbara Jacobi, a leader in the service learning world. Put a little differently, service learning can be best described in three equal but distinct parts. Service, reciprocity, and reflection. So let's talk about service first, which is generally the more straightforward piece. Harbor College students enrolled in service learning are matched with an agency or volunteer project according to their sending or referring course. The placement sites are nonprofit, community based, and the work student volunteers perform is related to their coursework. Students perform a minimum of 10 hours of volunteer service during the semester, which is documented by a timesheet signed by a volunteer coordinator. Example volunteer sites include adult day centers, special needs classrooms, and after-school tutoring programs, among many others. The second piece of service learning is reciprocity. This is important because it implies that there is a mutually beneficial relationship between the student volunteers and Harbor College, which they represent, and the agency at which they are volunteering. It is important that the volunteer site or project not just benefit the student or the school, and not just act as a test site for students to try out their skills. The reciprocal nature of service learning is that students are filling a real need in their immediate community and benefiting the agency and service recipients just as much as themselves. That being said, one of the requirements for receiving credit for this course is that students receive a positive evaluation from the volunteer coordinator at their selected site. The third component, and what sets service learning apart from general volunteer work or community service, is reflection. Throughout the semester, students are asked to reflect upon the work they are doing in the community in relationship to their sending or referring course, guided by discussion and essay prompts. It is a chance for students to concretely connect their hands-on volunteer work with the theory they are learning in their sending course. They answer questions like, what were your expectations? What did you learn? How does this relate to your coursework? In addition to turning in a reflection paper, service learning students are also expected to participate in online or in-class discussion forums, as well as consider theories of social capital and observation biases. Online sections of Service Learning 100 are conducted entirely online except for the volunteer work, and only the regular section meets face-to-face. In closing, service learning is an excellent way for students and instructors to enhance their current course content with real, hands-on, experiential learning accompanied by thoughtful reflection and discussion. For more information about how to enroll or how to incorporate service learning in your courses, please visit with either myself or Ms. Minor. Thank you.